Hi, I'm Chris Morangi, co-CIO for Value at Gabelli Funds, coming to you midsummer from our offices in Rye, New York. For many, this time of year means hot dogs, Cracker Jacks, and baseball. Others are dreaming of the hard court, the football field, hockey rink, or soccer pitch. Regardless, Americans are passionate about sports, no matter the economic environment. Sports are tribal. That's one of the reasons live entertainment and sports remains our, among our favorite investment themes. Another attraction is the relative scarcity of sports assets. 30 MLB and NBA teams, 32 NFL and NHL teams. That's it. Of those, only three are accessible to public market invest investors as pure plays. The New York Knicks and Rangers at Madison Square Garden Sports and the Atlanta Braves Baseball Club at Liberty Braves, two stocks we own for clients. The former parent of Madison Square Garden Sports, symbol MSGS, was spun off from Cablevision Systems in 2010 but remains controlled by the Dolan family. The company has 24 million shares outstanding. With the stock around 160 and 250 million in net debt, buyers get the Knicks and Rangers for 4 billion, about half the team, half the value the teams would fetch in a sale based on recent transactions. While a sale of a portion of the Knicks and Rangers or MSG is unlikely, it's not unthinkable. Far more likely, it's a systematic repurchase of shares by the company using the ample cash flow it has locked in through its TV and internet rights and season ticket sales. That was indeed the announced plan until COVID came along. There are even harder catalysts surrounding my second idea, Liberty Braves, symbols B-A-T-R-A and B-A-T-R-K, batter as it's known. For historical reasons, batter is a tracker stock, one of three, the others being Liberty Sirius and Formula One, associated with legendary dealmaker Dr. John Malone. A separation of the trackers into distinct corporate entities is likely as the group now has the tax attributes required. Batter confers economic ownership of the Braves, reigning world champions and the oldest sports franchise in the U.S., and a mixed-use real estate development known as the Battery that surrounds the club's ballpark. Batter has 62 million shares outstanding at a price of 28 and about 350 million in net debt, giving it an enterprise value of 2 billion. Assuming the battery is conservatively worth 700 million implies you get the Braves for 1.3 billion. That compares quite favorably to the New York Mets, which sold in 2020 for 2.5 billion. Assuming the Braves are harvested at a similar valuation could result in values well over $40 a share. A sale would be the next logical step after a batter spin. Sports franchises have been excellent stores of value over time, and we feel confident a number of secular dynamics, including legalized sports betting and competition for media rights, should support their worth over time. Thanks for watching. Please visit cabelli.com for more information and see you at the ballpark.